security researchers have uncovered evidence of a new piece of malware that may be able to take gigabytes worth of data hostage unless end users pay a ransom. Discussions of the new malware, alternately dubbed Prison Locker and Power Locker, have been occurring on underground crime forums since November, according to a blog post published Friday by Malware Must Die, a group of researchers dedicated to fighting online crime. The malware appears to be inspired by Crypto Locker, the malicious software that wreaked havoc in October when it used an uncrackable encryption to lock up victims' computer files until they paid hundreds of dollars for the decryption key. An undisclosed number of T-Mobile customers may have had personal information compromised after an unauthorized party gained access to a file stored on servers that are owned and managed by a T-Mobile supplier. The supplier has taken measures to secure the impacted servers. T-Mobile is notifying all impacted customers and is offering them one full year of credit monitoring services and identity theft protection. Whilst several vulnerable backdoors and various DSL modems were revealed by security researchers last year, would-be hackers required relatively unfettered direct IP access to the device to carry out an attack. Now a French researcher has discovered a series of wireless flaws on DSL modems from Linksys, Netgear and other vendors, which effectively gives attackers administration level access, by simply resetting the modem's configuration settings, so bypassing the firewall settings of the unit. 